Hello, Eagle here. Welcome to Let's Play Don't Starve with the Reign of Giants DLC. Now, I've been wanting to experiment with other games, see how you guys like them. Maybe try and grow my... Grow, expand my... Um, what's it called? Expand my horizons of gameplay, so to say. I've done Titanfall, I've done... Stick Arena, Dimensions, Titanfall, pretty much a flop because I'm bad at Titanfall. Stick Arena Dimensions I'm good at, for the most part. That will continue in the in a few days to the next couple weeks. But here, welcome to Don't Starve. This game came out a, in July of 2013, I believe. <clears throat> Started as an indie game, I believe. It's basic. It's a survival game similar to Minecraft, but with... It's easy to play to see. I already have a world that I've have on my own that I've been experimenting with. Let's start a new game. Not the Rain of Giants because I don't know about that yet. Do the fire starter because I've already unlocked her. I like her because, you know, makes it a little bit easier. No fire damage. Have a lighter. It's a little bit that can act as a torch. But lights fires when nervous, which might be an issue. This one has, he has a beard. Really no issue. No, really no. Uh, whatever. Let's go her. Do a normal game. Let's do this. This game has become popular by Markiplier for the most part. And he didn't even play it that much. So I'm going to try and play it more and more. And my mic quality sounds a little different because I'm trying to experiment with Turn it up a little bit. I'm trying to experiment with it a bit. Get it sound better. Ooh, cutscene. Say, pal, you don't look so good. You better find something to eat before night comes. All right. The goal of this game here. Let me actually. Uh, the goal of this game is simple: survive. That's all it is. Um, so right now, I need to find. Uh, that's actually a pretty decent spawn. With. The three biomes crossing. I need grass and twigs. And there's my dog. There's my damn dog. Hold on. Baby, come here. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here now. Sorry about that. Dogs are freaking out. So the goal is to survive. Different food stuff and different things can happen. It's, it's kind of a sandbox survival game, but you. It's hard to explain. You just have to see for yourself. You get a little mini map. Not the best in the world, but it works. I need to find. Um, flint. Flint so I can make an axe. Um, carrots are good too. Basic controls. Um, and I have my mouse turned off on the recording. Basic controls. Left click to pick or do interact. Um, left click to place or right click to eat food or to interact with other things in your inventory. I'll give you some sticks over there. Also, um, you'll see for yourself, but... There are sometimes just things scattered all around, like the skeleton. There's probably more skeletons scattered. Here's rabbit holes over here, which I can make traps for. Uh, let's see, I really good berry bush. This is probably where I'm gonna set up camp right here for now. Berry bushes. And in terms of stats, you have right here your hunger, which increments of goes up to 200, I believe. No, 150. Sanity, which goes up to, which is at 120, and health, which I, I don't know. That's, those stats may vary, but health obvious. When you start, when you start to starve, your screen will turn red, and you'll start losing health gradually, not very quickly. Um, 
Sanity is a bad. Sanity is really important. Um, you start seeing shadows, and you start seeing monsters appear that aren't really there, and all that fun stuff. So, we're getting halfway through the day. Um, there is another savanna right here. There's a road right here. That's no, up here. And I need to find flint. That's my biggest thing. Flint, 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 flint. There's flint right here. Good. At least one flint. I think I can use one flint for an axe. Yes, just clicked off screen for a minute. Gonna have an axe, means I can get wood for a fire. And interacting also, instead of left click, you can use right click. Or, um, not, not right click, you can use spacebar. So you don't even need the mouse, you know, the AG the mouse actually, to drop items. And Q and E toggles perspective. I like to keep it the base for six so I don't get lost and confused in the world. And very similar to Minecraft as well, you have durability in your tools. There are two types of tools. There are stone, or I should say flint, tools, and there's luxury tools which are made out of gold. I, don't, I haven't used those yet. I don't know how long they last, but we'll find out. I'm going to get this last tree. I'm actually going to go by right here. This is a blue mushroom. Those are those are good. And I'm going to camp out over here by the berry bush. So I'm going to make a fire here in a minute. But first, let me see. Leaves do um, increase health. So let me grab some more twigs and grass. There's a spider over there, which I want to avoid that spider nest. They get more active at night, I believe. So I'm going to avoid them. I really hope my audio sounds good. Picking flowers increases your sanity, so it makes you not go crazy, or it helps you not going crazy. Looks like a good field for a for a home for now. Let's see, I'm gonna place down a fire, a light fire, build campfire. I cook. You have to be careful not to click on yourself when cooking, because you might actually just eat them. You can cook almost anything. Let me go chop down some trees. And the birds also drop seeds occasionally. Or eat, and they also eat seeds. Seeds, you can cook seeds, or you can also, if you get certain materials, you can build a farm, a basic farm, and you can and you can plant those seeds and grow a variety of different plants, a variety of different fruits and vegetables. Okay, let me put some wood on the fire. Let me plant some trees around. So they keep growing back. Berry bushes grow back every now and then. I don't know how long it takes for them to grow back. But yeah, um... I'm actually gonna fast forward through the night because the night is very boring. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna fast forward through this night. So you'll see what night is, but it won't be very. It's not very uh, interesting. So, yeah, I'll see you all then. Alright, now before night ends, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do next. I've made a trap. I'm going to go lay the trap over by the rabbit hole I saw. And hopefully I can find a carrot and I can bait it. So let's go do this. I'm going to... There's... Oh, the blue mushroom. Oh, well. I missed the blue mushroom. Some of the mushrooms only come out at night. So you have to watch them. 
And some of the mushrooms do good. Some of them don't do very good at all. Some of them hurt you. Depending. Like, I know the red cat... Med, red, cooked red mushrooms heal you. That much I know. Let's see... Look at those seeds, you damn bird. The different foods... Here's a carrot. Here's a carrot. I'm trying to get the rabbit. One of the things that rabbits don't give you much food. You get a lot of... Actually, well, I mean, you get a lot of food from the vegetables. I'm going to plant this. The thing is that... In, once I get a shovel... I can... I'm actually going to come back to this trap later. I'm going to head back into the... Um... I'm head over here, I think. Um, once you get a certain advancement in scientific research or something, I don't know what exactly it's called, you can build shovels and you can actually dig out the holes the rabbits live in in order to get access to those holes, to the rabbits inside. It's a big chasm. Hopefully it leads to a crossing point. Here's a savannah-ish thing. I hope I find some... Beefalo, which is the, which is what they're called, which is the, they give you poop, or aptly named manure. So maybe they're actually summoned here. I actually doubt it. Be in this close to spawn. Oh, here's this good. I need flint to get a pickaxe. So I can get this. Hopefully, there's some flint around. I need flint. This is a good. This is a good spot. Once I get flint, I can make a pickaxe and get stones, so we can actually make a campfire. Beefalo may be in this area right here because there's a lot of rabbits here. Maybe some beefalo here. This would be a good spot for another base, for another for a second home as well. It's wide open plains. Got tons and tons of rabbits. I'm just a, here's good, 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 good beefalo. One beefalo. There's usually more over here. There's more beefalo. Good, good, good. Get this manure. Then I need, I'll need lots and lots of gold, which I can get from some of those rocks, of which I will need lots and lots of flint to get lots and lots of pickaxes. Very repetitive process, very annoying process, but it, it is what it is. About to lose the day, I really need to find some flint. Flint, 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 flint. Let's see if one pickaxe, I need two flint for a pickaxe, jeez, okay. I doubt there's any up here. No. I don't care about the seeds. I do now. I'm going to go get who is more poop. This is a great area. I'm going to go get my trap. Hopefully the rabbit in that hole took the trap, took the bait. He might have. I'll grab that trap all the way up. Damn, it's far out, isn't it? Jeez. Jeez. Not too bad, I guess. I'm going to grab the trap, and I'm going to be right big. Actually, I'm going to grab the trap, hopefully get the rabbits. Hopefully get a rabbit in there so I can get some food, because it's about night time. And there's also, it's a, it's a season cycle. So, tomorrow, the day might be longer or shorter. I think it's going to get longer than shorter. There's summer and winter, and everything in between. Some more seeds are that's good. Flint, flint, flint. Oh, the rabbits hurt. Oh, the frogs are just there. Really hurt. They, they take stuff. They take stuff from you. No, bad rat, bad, bad rat, bad frog, bad, very bad frog. They take your stuff. That's not good. That's not nice. We said I didn't get hurt really badly, but I got one flint, which is really good. Where am I? I'm pretty, still pretty far out. I'm gonna explore for flint in that area next day as well. I need flint, lots and lots of flint. Get figuring where my base is. I'm gonna go by the trap instead of base because the fires 
do um let me put my my lighter out so I have a little bit of light. Not much, but the fires unless you build a fire pit, the fire the the campfires do go out and they do leave ashes behind but nothing else. Good got a rabbit. Good rabbit. We have some rabbit dinner. Rabbit murder. I'm gonna keep this trap because that rabbit's gone. I think there's one rabbit per hole. They may regenerate, I don't know. So actually I'm gonna work my way back to that savanna. I can, I can make more traps. And I can light things on fire as I go. Here's the green mushroom. Green mushrooms, I believe. I don't know what green mushrooms do, actually. I should probably know this. Good to have some light for now. Yeah, I'm, that's a... Yeah, it's a big, big fire, big, big booming fire. Ooh, good, uh, berry bush. The one disadvantage with this character is that if she, her ang her sanity goes down, that was a gobbler over there. If her sanity goes down, she will light things on fire out of nervousness, which is kind of a bad thing if the lighter is equipped. If the lighter is not equipped, she will not do that, which is good. Um, some. Getting pretty late. I'm gonna set up camp over somewhere. Um, right here looks pretty good. Lay a trap out right here. Cook stuff. Alright, let's see what the green cat does. The, the green mushroom heals sanity as well as it heals health. That's good. Berries heal hunger and health. Rabbit heals hunger and health as well. Okay, good. Put some wood on the fire. pick stuff around here and also I'm gonna cycle into day here so I'll be right back all right good morning let me grab some of this beef of the poop and then I need to go find flint. Flint, flint, flint. It's very important. Looks like there's there was flint in this area, so I'm gonna go grab that. Hopefully the trap I let right here will attract a animal. I think I can see the fire pit. The fire no I can't, but I can see my trap, which will be over by my home. Okay. One more flint and I can get some good thing about using the pickaxe on the rocks. Using breaking the rocks I should say is it gives you sometimes it gives you flint back. Which is very nice. Just need to avoid those damn frogs. Oh, now it's raining joyousness. Come on, baby. Flint, flint, flint. Bad thing about when it's raining, it, uh, Lightning strikes. Here's here's a carrot over here. That's good. Here, ooh, and a wormhole. I'll go through that here, here in a bit. There's a pig. Let's not attack the pigs. I might actually build. There's a pig village. Ooh. Tangent. This is a pig village, which I actually haven't ran into yet in, my, in another world. This is the first time I've ran into them. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's lightning. Yeah, something's on fire. Oh, it's just a bread mushroom. See, the pigs don't seem to like me that much. I'm going to not take their... Food. 
Are there berry bushes yet? Let's see, I really need flint. Really, 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 really need flint. Pigs don't like me yet. That evil thought it was just a flower. Okay. Um. God, I need flint. Jeez. Flint's very important. Coming on, I'm about to run out of time. Uh, come on, baby. Flint. Oh, good, 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 good. I'm glad I found one of these. This is the eye bone. When you have this, you get something called Chester, which you can store stuff in. It's like a walking, it's like a chest golem. Store things in. Pretty useful. Oops, strong button. Okay, good. I need flint. Flint, flint, flint. Come on, come on. Flint, baby, flint. I'm not exploring the best of my abilities, but whatever. I'm pretty far out. Um, I'm gonna explore for another couple minutes. I'm gonna have to call us call us an episode. I still have a couple. I still have, yeah, I still have a couple minutes. Just carrot over there. Sanity's still good. I do need to cook some food. Sanity and health is okay. I think there's an intersecting road right coming up here. When you walk on the roads, you do run faster, which is very nice. So where does this road lead? More pigmen? Okay, just pigmen. Is this another pig village? No, it's not the same one. Okay. No carrot. No carrot. Good flint. Yes, flint, baby. Flint. Yes. Good, good, good. And plenty of berry bushes, too. Awesome. More flint. Even better. Oh, good. A lot more flint. Maybe I can make another axe, too. What if I can... If I can give them berries... Oh boy. Oh boy, it's getting dark. Okay, let me grab these bears. I need to head back. How far am I? Not too bad. But I'm going to make camp, cook up some food, and call us an episode. So while I wander aimlessly to try and find my area, I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. If you did, remember to leave a like. And subscribe for more content like this. If you want me to start, if you want me to play this more and more, let me know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start a let's play on this. Definitely, I love this game. I've been playing it for a day, and I love it. But yeah, remember, leave a like, show me you want me to record this, and I will. Let me get it over to my trap. Next episode, I'm gonna get a lot more supplies. Going to those boulders, gonna get me some gold, get me some flint, get me some more good things that I need so I can make an actual base. No element? Wow. Let's pick this thing up then. Actually, let me just bait this trap. Alright. Oh, I need to get my stuff from this guy. Alright. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. And I'll see you all later.